At the beginning of this year, Jay and I put running a half marathon down the Las Vegas Strip at the top of our bucket list. Seriously, it's right here. Right, right there. Now, luckily for us, each year, Rock and Roll puts on what they call an ultimate running party. For four hours, they shut down the Las Vegas Strip and allow thousands of people to run down it. This year, you could either run a 5K, a 10K, or what we chose to run, a half marathon. This year, we're all about pushing our minds and our bodies to their very limits. I'm dead. So, Jay has a goal of completing his 13.1 miles in an hour and 36 minutes. Me, on the other hand, I have a goal of completing it in two hours and 11 minutes. Be easy on me, guys. I am not like Jay. I'm just a normal human being out here. We'll also be meeting up with some of our old friends who also live in school buses, Alex, Laura, and Cody. And we'll also be meeting quite a few new people who live in school buses. Nick and Lauren, Kyle and Kristen, Nicole and Charlie, and Stefan. A weekend in Las Vegas with six other buses. This should be a lot of fun. In a quarter mile, slight right to stay on South Industrial Road. We headed to Circus Circus's RV park where we'd be staying for the next two nights. It was between $40 and $60 for the night to be able to stay right in Vegas. Oh, there they are. Found them. Found them. Wow, look at all those buses. When we first arrived, we said hi to some old friends, but mostly to new ones. Very excited. Oh, so right. proud. I'm nervous. You gonna try win this? We picked up our half marathon race bibs with Nick, Kyle, and Charlie. We had never met them in person before, but they had heard from our good friend Alex that we were running it and decided to join us. It's kind of crazy to think that I hardly even knew their names at the time. All right, we got bibs. Tell us NJ, baby. One step closer to running down the Vegas Strip. Woo! Naked. So we're on day one in Vegas with everyone, and Cody's up first. He's gonna run his first 5K ever. How are you feeling, Cody? <laughs> I'm really nervous. <laughs> That's my first race ever, like timed race. Okay. I don't run, so. <laughs> the whole thing is that Alex and a few other people were like, yeah, we'll do the 5K and then bailed. And now Cody is sticking it out. He's gonna do it. So he has an army of people cheering for him today. With everything ready for the half marathon the next day, all that was left to do today was cheer on Cody and his first ever 5K. All right, guys, we made it. We're here. Cody's getting all suited up to run. There's a hair on you, sorry. The atmosphere here is so fun. People are dressed up in costumes. People are just going all out. So yeah, here's Cody's outfit. Ready? <laughs> uh, here for the race. <laughs> Honestly, don't know what was more impressive. Cody's commitment to completing the 5K with just a week of training, or the fact that he was able to chug a beer right after it. Afterwards, we walked around Old Vegas before getting the fanciest drink I've ever had in my life. It was at a quaint whiskey bar called Oak and Ivy. It came from Alex's recommendation, so I'm not sure why I was so surprised by how good it was. Jay and I called it an early night because we knew we'd need our energy for the next day. Good morning from the Las Vegas Strip. It's race day. Race day, baby. <laughs> Jay and I are pumped, and I think some people stayed up till like four in the morning last night, so they're probably not as 
pumped as we are right now. But gotta go for my morning coffee. I'm spoiled. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> so are you at Pee Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Right now, I'm feeling great. <laughs> Here comes oh, the champion. Wow. champion. There he is. Yeah. When I join you, my body feels like <laughs> not good. That's from not your run? run? <laughs> from my run. No, oh, from my run. You look great. I just said to Laura, all right, I'm going to walk down the stairs. This feels like a chore. <laughs> I soar in weird places. Amazing. Your body's confused. Yeah. All right, guys, we're ready to go. Look at my outfit. Killing the game. Jay bailed. He's not doing any leggings. But we have Kyle, Nick, and Charlie all wearing leggings. 13.2 miles. Let's see how this goes. I'm pretty pumped though. How are you feeling, Jay? Like she said, I got the, <laughs> it's got the boring outfit. Serious, Jamie. But yeah, I'm pumped. I'm a little bit worried for some people. Not gonna name any names. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> Up till four in the morning. I'm gonna be super impressed if he can completes this. Let the games begin. As we headed to the start line, we were pumped. We were ready for the Vegas atmosphere, but what I was not prepared for was the pure energy Charlie would bring. Like he hadn't been up until 3 a.m. the night before. Yes. Oh, ready to go, guys. All right, we're walking to the start line now. I lost Jay, but I'm Let's with you, guys. And we're gonna try to stay together the whole time. Woo! Yeah, we're all one. How are you feeling, guys? My one. We're good. Put that pace up, guys. We're going good. We're going good. All right, Jamie! 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 You're tuning in! You don't have to bike or swim this time. Awesome now. <laughs> that run, holy smokes! It was, uh, it was uh, a lot of fun. But yeah, now we feel great. Crazy. Yeah. Had the uh, had the best team. We wouldn't have been able to do as good as we did without the team. So uh, the team aspect helped. Right. Yeah, but it's How the community. Feel? Felt great. Okay. Contrary to what we said before, not a lot of alcohol consumption this evening. Bad. We are calling it an early one. We just Ubered back from the strip. Uh, Kelsey's a bit run down. So we're gonna look after ourselves, go to bed, wake up tomorrow, and tomorrow's a new day. Love you. But I gotta say oh let me let me let me show you guys the metal. The metal for this thing is is something else. So you would think that this is just a normal metal, but wait. This is Vegas. How cool is that? Probably one of the coolest medals we've ever earned. All right, sorry, I'm waffling. This story doesn't end at the Vegas half marathon. Really, this story isn't about that at all. Because afterwards, we made our way to a spot on some land just outside of Vegas, where you can stay for free for up to two weeks. We weren't ready to part ways with everyone just yet, because these people who we just met felt more like family. All right, this is too good not to share. We have Jay over here working out. We have Cody and Kyle over there working out. <laughs> we have Nick who just went on a run. Everyone's getting after it, so I'm feeling inspired. Just gonna do a little stretch though. <laughs> this spot is too good not to share with you guys. We hung out at that spot for a few days, just like longtime friends would. It got me thinking. How is it that we build such a strong bond with everyone we meet on the road? Because we aren't all the same. <laughs> some of us are moms, some of us are dog moms. 
cat moms, or soon to be moms. Some of us work nine to fives, some of us are already pretty much retired at 28, and some of us create full time. This is like my favorite thing ever. All the cats out. Oh. But one thing we all have in common is at some point we all looked at our lives and realized they didn't have to stay how they were. Pip is making friends. You guys are gonna be best friends? Oh. We didn't have to conform to the societal norms of living in a house. We didn't let life get in the way of living our dreams. We jumped, took a risk, and just as we were falling, we started flying. That's the sort of happiness you won't attain anywhere else. <laughs> That's the sort of energy you can see radiating off each and every one of us that connects us in a way you can't describe, you can only feel. And as Jay and I prepare for our next challenge, our biggest challenge yet, running four miles every four hours for the next 48 hours, we knew staying in that spot with the support of our new family gave us the biggest shot at completing it because we were going to need all the support we could get if we were going to get through it. Oh. I'm just trying to real bad. Don't worry about me. Yeah. How you feel? <laughs> Is it cold? Oh, uh, I was like, oh, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it. Nope. Yeah, Cody! Where is he? He's somewhere out there! <laughs> Made it to the, uh, the VIP section. <laughs> he put bio freeze on his nuts. Considering it. I was until you said how cold. No, it's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting good now, you know? <laughs>